Okay, welcome, welcome. It is Jolene here. I am not showing my face today. Sorry about that, but it is boiling hot where I am and I am red cheeked out, sweaty face. I've put my hair up to try and cope in my little studio. So you're going to have to just appreciate a bit of a desk view and me doing the card. So we've got a beautiful card that I want to show you today made with a Cricut Maker, but you can do this with your Explorer Air 2 as well. The Cricut Joy won't work though, because you have to do the transfer, the foil transfer here. Um, so either your Cricut Explorer Air 2 or your Cricut Maker, you need a green mat, you need a white cardstock, a black cardstock, you need your scoring blade, wheel, a normal blade of course, and then your transfer kit. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to do the white cardstock first and we're going to draw and we're going to pop the foil on it. So we're going to make the beautiful, beautiful cardstock. So we're just popping our pen in, pushing down until this little arrow down here disappears from view and closing the notch. And I've also got my scoring wheel in here. I need to swap that one. So we need a single scoring wheel. Let me see if I can find that. There we go. And I'm gonna pop that in there so that we can create the scores for the card. So I've just got a white card stock and according to the view on the computer, I am going to pop it in lengthways like this. So not portrait, but landscape. That's the correct wording. Righto. I've selected a light card stock because I find that I like um to even though this is pretty light anyways but i like to select the light so that the pressure from the transfer tool is a little bit more um so that i can get a really decent foil so let me load the map and then we're going to just press go Perfect, so the drawing is complete and now it's asking me to get set up for the load transfer tool. So let me just, what we don't want to do actually, I nearly pressed the wrong button, is to take it out. So we need to leave the mat where it is and then we're going to load our transfer tool. So that one goes in here. So we've got our score line already. So I know where to place my transfer, my foil. Um, so I can follow the score line. I can see my picture. So I've got a really good guide. So I want to grab my transfer tool and I want a medium tip too. So how do you know which tip? I just need to open up my little container. How do you know which tip to grab? They have little lines on them. So this one has got one, two lines on it. The one that I had in has got three lines on it. I don't know if you guys can see that because I might be focusing in the wrong place. But there's little lines on the tips. So you just have to grab the tip that has got the two lines. We're going to pop it in the front. We're going to press the pin on the back so that we can drop it in, release the pin, and it's done. And we just pop it in as we would a normal blade. Oh, Then we've got to grab our little packet. So your foil comes with tape so that we can tape it down in place. All right, so once you have your placement, you need to grab your tape so that we can tape it down because it needs to be fairly secure to your paper. So remembering that your tool is going to go over the top, this specific foil is pressure sensitive. So the pressure from the tip of your transfer tool is what's going to be applying your foil to your card. So... We want to have it fairly tight and pretty secure. Perfect. Great. So now we can get back to making it. So back on your computer screen, you'll see that you need to press this button to get going. Okay, so now we just need to carefully remove the foil. Still don't unload the mat. You need to still leave the mat in place so that we can cut around your card 
in the next step. So cute! So freaking cute. Come on. Awesome. So now we've got to load up your normal cutting blade. And press go to just very quickly cut around the edge. Perfect, so we can unload this map because we need to make the envelope next. So as always, I like to turn my, whoops, I like to turn my mat upside down and then pull the mat away from the cardstock so that we don't curl the cardstock. And then we can grab our um, cardstock for the envelope and pop that on. So again, it's asking us to load the scoring wheel. So very quickly swapping these again. Cool. Load. All right, so now we need to make the envelope and I've got my scoring wheel back in here as directed so that I can do the scoring. So let's go, and then we're going to do a tiny little gold crown of foil. Okay, great. So now we need to pop the foil on again. And don't unload your mat, so grab your foil. I had a piece here that I accidentally stuck to a mat once and pulled off the foil because it's pressure sensitive. So I'm going to use this because I know that the crown is going to be on this end. So again, use your tape to make sure that it's secure to your cardstock. Whoopsie daisies. Let's see if I can just tighten it up a touch. There we go. Awesome. And then I can pop it through. Okay. And now all we do is remove the foil. So same thing as we did before and pop in the cutting blade so that we can cut the cardstock. Great. Beautiful. All right. And our cutting blade. We're nearly done. And off we go. Right, and it's cut so let's unload this mat and let's quickly build all of our bits and pieces so first of all we've got a card so folding that one in half on the score line and you can either use your fingers or something like a scoring oh I've hit a blank what is this thing's called one of these I don't know why my brain's just gone blank one of those, they're really, really handy. You can use a wooden ruler or anything like that as well. So unload your envelope, get rid of the excess. And again, let's just create it on the folds. So cute. Making this one as a bit of a surprise for my husband. 
because we've been trying to strengthen up our relationship a little bit. So I think even though it's not Valentine's Day or anything special, it's just a really, really sweet little card. All right. And then, of course, what we need is a bit of glue. I like to use just a liquid glue. Some people like using double-sided tape. Some people like the whole big effort of getting the hot glue gun out. I can't be bothered. So this is good enough for me. Awesome. Let's stick that together. Beautiful. I just give that a second to dry because it does take a little bit to dry. How cute is this card? That's so cute. The foil just is makes it like top notch. That's beautiful. I love it. And I absolutely adore the finishing touch on the card of the teeny tiny little crown. So sweet. And there you have a little tiny card set. Where well, it's not tiny, a normal size one. <laughs> but there you have a beautiful card with a pen with the foil transfer tool. You made your own little um, envelope with some foil. And this is like anything better than you can buy in the shops for sure. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial with me. Join us again on YouTube for heaps more tutorials. Until then, happy crafting. Bye for now.